Now he's a podcaster. His life, he'll talk about it with us. And now it's Jeff <laughs> Oh, yeah. Jeff Fuck yeah. FM. Fuck yeah. Go on, have a seat, pop your headphones on. Get the fucking, get Snake out. Get Snake out. Snake's done. Ah, fucking hit my fucking elbow. See, that's why this dog sucks. This dog is done. Snake, say goodbye to him. He's going back to the snake pit this weekend. I'm throwing him right back in. It's not my fault. He's a bad dog. He lost brain cells from the anti-venom. His brain was developing. He got bit when he was too young. So he's a dumb dog, and I don't have room for any any more dumb dogs. But today is a very special episode. I'm excited for the guests. Our first big guest, he's uh, in phenomenal shape. He's a knockout artist. I'm not talking about Vince. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he's Ronnie. Ronnie, Ma- how do you say your last name? Magro? Margo? Magro. Okay. Oh, he has another we one. We go way back. <laughs> he has no, another no, last we- name. <laughs> Why? We don't oh, want to say oh, that yeah. one? Ortiz. Did you go under an alias the whole entire time? Yeah. Your celebrity career? I was supposed to be Italian, you know? <laughs> it's good to see you, bro. And yeah. we go way back. I know a lot of people don't know this stuff about us. Uh, pull up that picture, Oscar. It's yeah, look at that. Look at that Look at you. So unenthusiastic. Yeah. You're just like this fucking asshole. I was fucking hung over probably <laughs> what year was that that look at my skinny fat body thinking i had abs that was 2010 <laughs> 2010 that's yeah that yeah. was your age there steven I was 10 years old you were 10 years old you little <laughs> way, weasel way to make us feel old steven <laughs> Ronnie, this is Steven, by the way. He's my co-host. He just kind of hangs out. Vince don't like him. He don't respect him. Nope. But look, back then, yeah, I was an asshole. You know, I deserved the criticism that I got for this picture from my hometown friends calling me a clout chaser before clout was even a word. But that's what I was doing there. I was chasing clout. Yeah, it was wrong. But Ronnie took me right in. He treated me great. Everyone else on the show... You know, I have different opinions on. Well, every, everybody but Vinny. Vinny is just, we went to high school together. Yeah, you know so Vinny from Staten Island, right? We had a little rivalry or something really? in his head, hey, I guess. a couple of kids from these mean streets. Okay, enough with the fucking wannabe fucking gangster sound bites. <laughs> all right? It's not a gangster uh, Patreon-only podcast. We did one recently, and we had to scrap it because... Yeah, because of uh, things. Oh. I mean... He- I, he said it's fine if we put it out. Okay, so we will be putting out an episode, but we had a little, we got a little hot water, little so we delay. pushed it. Yeah, a little, a little delay. delay. But a lot of action happened on the episode. Yeah. A lot to look forward to. There's a lot, yeah, on the Patreon only, but this one, this is this is our first big guest <laughs> that we have here on this show. This is a little show that I kind of half-ass, I don't really give a shit about. I just hang out with the boys and talk shit, talk about myself, my arrogance, my narcissism shows through this show. I would have loved to have you on the barbershop because that's the main the big boy. Yeah, I heard about that. Vince was telling me. I think you asked me when I saw you for the the, the Hubble. Yeah, for the Christmas. I wanted to have thing. you on that, but it's not yeah. ready yet. But okay, yeah, I'll do that too. This is probably better for us to talk because, you know, we have so much to talk about. We have a history, you know, and we're both in much different places in our lives now. Yeah, absolutely. And still, uh, yeah, I think this is a better Still sitting platform. next to Vince though, fucking 20 years later. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I wouldn't want to prank you too, because I wouldn't want to get hit with one of those shots, you know? <laughs> How's your training going right now? I mean, it's good, bro. You know, I try to work out five days a week. Five days? GTL, bro. Yeah. You know? Fuck yeah. What are you benching nowadays? Because I know we talked briefly. We usually prep before this show when we have people come on, but you know, I, I just wanted it to be fresh. You know, we're meeting up after fucking 10 even, years. I don't really lift heavy. I just lift to work out. Yeah, you know what I mean. I, you know, I I was already big at that. You know what I mean. Like Damn, especially bro. in Miami. Are you doing any MMA training? Because we reviewed a tape of you when you knocked that kid out on the boardwalk. <laughs> we were watching that recently. <laughs> Pull it up, Oscar. Because this I, was you had some ground game and everything back then. I used to watch a lot of UFC. Oh, so that's where you yeah, learned that. Okay, because yeah. you held him down, you ground and pound, and you yeah, throw elbows in his elbows. head. <laughs> you see this? You Ronnie see this always knew how to fight, of course. <laughs> yeah, but no, but this was like legit because I back to then a little knee too yeah 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 back then it was just like <laughs> jersey that. shore fight days <laughs> you got in a fight at the jersey shore the boardwalk or one of those clubs whatever you hit and run you yeah, take off so you don't want to get grabbed you're getting arrested you're a grown man you're a black eye already how tough do you feel yelling at a that was the day after the fight <laughs> no, yeah <laughs> I'm not from Staten Island, bro, actually. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with Staten Island, bro? <laughs> Jeff feels Staten targeted. Staten 30 years old. Stop. You're better than that. Stop. Damn, 30? You. I knew that the guy wanted to fight. And Sam was just like antagonizing it. Sam, Sam he was. Oh, it instigated. Yeah, she was. What is that, a sundress? Because then there's some... Do you like... My good thing my grandma wears that. How do you feel watching back this stuff? I actually enjoy this fight. Yeah, this, this is, is nice. Actually, this is one of my favorite. Steven, pay attention. <laughs> This is how this is how you act when you go She's out with your girl. Out, you protect her no matter what. You don't get scared. <laughs> is this stuff real? Yeah, it's real. Yeah, it's real. 
Is it real? The bro? producers didn't do anything. Security didn't do shit. They were just standing back and like, let's see what happens. The best yeah. part. Yeah. When Ronnie right. tucked his chain, come, come, <laughs> come at me, bro. Right Kyle, you better have that sound bite, or I'm gonna fucking come at you, bro. Right come at me, bro. Put your hands oh. up, bro. Oh, oh damn. Right oh. He knew. You knew right there was an easy win too, yeah, right? I knew. I knew. This guy's trying to like swing over his girlfriend, which is a completely move. Oh. Damn. Oh, he yeah, almost knocked was... himself. Oh. oh. Look at that. Look at that ground game, Steven. Oh. Guillotine him. Oh. The knee. The knee. <laughs> oh. Look the move you do. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh. Look at that ground game, Steven. <laughs> Everything just like happened. Oh, my, head. Oh, so man. Like, oh my god, Jesus. I don't know what to do. You could tell <laughs> that's that's fighting experience. That's not no fucking Bryce Hall that, 40 street fight. That's, shit. that's, that's real, me. that's real shit. That's years of getting bullied on the cheese bus with Vince yep, right there. Yep. <laughs> Did he ever hit you? Uh, he got one shot, and at the at the end, when they you just cut the clip, but <laughs> as we were backing up, he got that's how I got the black eye. Oh, damn. Yeah, what do you think about that, Come Steven? Out, Your whole demeanor changed. <laughs> You had a fucking tough guy attitude. Now you're holding uh, your change. No, I'm good. That's scary. <laughs> Ronnie will wrap around you like a fucking I'm, spider I'm monkey. Sure. And beat I'm sure. I'm so sure. That's scary. Well, bro, know. that's life. He was out with this girl on a date, and that, somebody started talking shit. And what do you do? Where's that film? You either fucking stand up stand and you, right you, you stand up for your girl. Did well, you, you lose where that's filmed? It's like Ocean City, Maryland. It's oh nice. my god, oh my this god. kid's fucking slow. I told you to do research for the show. I said Ronnie from the Jersey Shore. Why the fuck would he be in Ocean City, Maryland, Stephen? <laughs> you know, looks I could, like I could fucking come at you right now, bro. <laughs> Jersey Shore, Santa Good. Monica Pier, Santa, <laughs> Santa Barbara. I don't know. I've never been to Jersey. I know this is this is a fucking goof right now, but this is serious. This is not him being a fucking. This is not him putting on an act. When we start the barbershop show back up, you better fucking come prepared. <clears throat> And we can't have this lack of preparation. I'm nervous. I'm Ocean nervous City, sweating. Maryland. Oh, fuck the fucking, fuck it was him. the most fucking popular show of all time. Reality TV shows. I, the highest Besides like the Kardashians, show. right? I just never wa yeah, like, yeah, watched Yeah, we got reality. better ratings than Kardashians. They just got paid more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our show was better. They I mean, made yeah, more money. How the fuck That's don't all. you know about Dude, the I was short. 10 years old when that was out. I never was in a reality. I was watching SpongeBob. The show was out for 10 years. <laughs> 12. But I never watched. It was 12 years. Yeah, 12 well, years. I don't, the show's still out they today. It was the number one. Is it like The Bachelorette where they get a bunch of guys and girls together? Is it, Was that your like? It's like marriage boot camp. Is okay, it was. It's like, um, it's what's that, one too of, hot to handle? It's, it's a one of one. <laughs> it's a, at the time, it was like a one of one show because I remember when Vinny said that he was going to audition for an MTV show. I was like, what, Real World or well, some we, shit? He didn't even know it was an MTV show. We just, they would, MTV didn't pick it up until after we filmed. So it was like a no name. We didn't even have oh, a name. Oh, yeah. I think they were going to name it Guido Beach. Damn, racist, no? Yeah, right? A little bit. I feel targeted. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a little racism <laughs> on Rican. there, MTV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Port Guido, Puerto Rican. So Vinny told me that he was going down to audition and, and he wanted a haircut on a Monday, but the shops are closed on Monday. So I was like, you're not fucking auditioning for no MTV show, bro. Get out of here. And then he ended up booking the thing. And then I was jealous every day after. And then my <laughs> life has, you know, been, my life goal has been to compete with Vinny yeah. to be the number one spot on Staten Island Famous Birthdays. Well, you guys succeeded. take the same amount of shirtless pics on Instagram. Does so. he do a lot of shirtless pics? <laughs> yeah. Man, he doesn't he, look good at all, though. <laughs> but different genetics, you know? He works yeah. hard. He works very hard. He, he diets, you know? I eat fucking Twizzlers and Skittles at night. I just have a fast metabolism. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. He's got there he is. Where do you get those shorts? I, I don't He's know. A shirt on guy. Yeah. He looks pretty good. Yeah, He's he does. He's in good shape. He's the keto guido. He's you know. sticking to that keto diet. Yeah, he does. He'll eat cheese off the pizza like a fucking pelican. It's weird. That's all he does? You know? Yeah. But he stays in shape. I don't know. Did he ever? Did he ever say anything about me? Does he, does he? Okay, don't be disrespectful with the sound bites. I don't know if Ronnie wants that. It's I don't fine. know what don't kind of vibe he was coming in here for. If you do get disrespected by any of them, it's a skinny kid in the shower that presses the buttons. Okay, so he's you in go the back shower. there and just. It's my son. There's already two dudes in the bathroom. That's my son, Kyle. One. I give you permission to strike any of them. But if you want to hit Steven. so well, Kyle's your you son. What am I? What if I fuck? if I got married to like a Steps, girl that adopted son, stepson, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that nobody wanted redheaded child, <laughs> so it's funny that you knew Vinny from when he went on the show. I went to high school with Vinny. Yeah, uh, like I was maybe a freshman when he was like a junior or senior, but we knew each other from the barbershop, and that's why we had like a little, you know, 
little rivalry. Yeah, well, he knew you, so that's how we got the haircuts from you. In that's how I ended up linking yeah. up with you guys, and then I gave all you guys haircuts for the whole season. Yeah. And they, we did a lot of filming together. We did a lot yeah, of hanging out together. It just I didn't make the cut a lot because I was like a fucking cloud chaser back then. I was just always trying to just chime in. and Yeah, just they, be were, part of the they were more they were, focused on the on note. The cast members. <laughs> <laughs> they were more focused, they were on, focused on me cheating. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, don't you wish yeah. you had a, like at least got to oversee that edit a little bit and be like hey Man, i mean not really i know i like that it was real and it was raw yeah you know but they made the story fucking line. psycho you could you, they could basically paint you however they want when yeah. you put that edit in their hands yeah. it all comes down to the edit i yes. do this shit now i make like little parody reality shows and i'll do a weight loss show and i villainize my friend who is an asshole to me most of the time but I'll just leave in his asshole clips so he gets fucking roasted at the end of the day. But I know that I can My manipulate that edit. Will, will speak you know, I know I see now after doing all this editing over the years that you can manipulate any yes. edit to make anybody look how they want. Yep. And I know personally from you, like meeting you and hanging out with you guys, that you were the nicest guy. I was even giving you the wrong haircut for the whole season. You. <laughs> you, you were asking me for like a like a faux hawk or like yeah, a mohawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was giving you the completely the, the wrong complete thing. And you never even said like, no, hey, bro, you're giving me the wrong fucking. <laughs> I think that I was so fucked up in Miami. I just didn't even realize what kind of haircut I had. Yeah, we were boozing heavy. <laughs> yeah. You could tell my skinny fat, skinny yeah, it, fat body. It was. Yeah, that was from alcohol. It's Miami abuse. though. What do you, I mean, you know. It's, we had our fun. Yeah, it was good And times. now we're on a different path in life. Absolutely. I heard a little bit. You're now sober. Yes. For six months? Three months. Three months. Okay, three months, Vince so. exaggerated a little bit. <laughs> like, what's three months, huh? Hey, what's it's fucking a, three months? It's a long fucking time. So yeah. you know what it was? When I found Ronnie, he was smoking crack. <laughs> he was living in a dumpster. And I had to pull him out of this drunken Save my life. psychotic he rage. He says this shit about me too. Yeah, I, I know. You, know, you don't even know. I could exactly been, what happened. I could have been having a glass of wine at dinner fucking once a week and he would say I'm smoking crack and sucking dick for fucking cocaine and heroin. You know, Vince look, look, never look. touched a fucking drink in his life. Yeah. Goody two shoes, what? perfect health, perfect fucking. <laughs> yeah. Rub it in our faces. Right? But you give this guy a bag of sunflower seeds or a fucking. Oh, a fucking uh, stacker too. Yeah. Oh my God. A, a little thing of Ritz crackers. Ritz crackers, yeah. So okay. me and Ronnie are only. A pretty much two months apart in age so we pretty much hit puberty at the same time got big at the same time we were power lifting at the same time trying to get big so everything we did our first girlfriends were best friends yeah we did everything like that at the yeah. same time so oh yeah yeah our first the first our first girlfriends girlfriend were best best, best friends. friends went to proms together yeah we did everything even really? on the on the cheese bus i went to a private school for a little while <laughs> oh, me and ronnie were the you same went to private size. school yeah. For two months like before you got kicked out. Yeah, I was the first one I kicked out of school. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. Ever. While your, this was while your dad was away? He wasn't around then. So I got a scholarship to a school for high school, came out of public school, went to a private high school, everything was going great. Diddy went to this school. It was all sports, it was all boys. Me and Ronnie hook up in school together. He said, "Not like that." Most Not like no, that. no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no, whatever. It's okay to be gay. Yeah. Oh shit. Yep. Something happened. Or, we talk no. about that. We talk about that stuff here. So we get on the bus. Yeah, me and I Ronnie like the same size. <laughs> all right, cut that. And all the kids in the school <laughs> like to fight. So yeah. It was a rough school. It was like sports yeah, school. Was. So they would make me and Ronnie. It would be like fight Fridays and make all the freshmen fight each other. So every week. They would want me and Ronnie to fight, but I knew that they had another plan for us because we were the smallest. We'd get wedgies. So we would get it, jumped. Yeah, we would get but jumped. But when we would run, I would dive down on the ground and Ronnie would jump on top of me and I would hear them attacking Ronnie and I would be like, oh my God. <laughs> They're coming for me next. <laughs> we, we, oh my God. I'd be we, underneath Ronnie and I would we, try to get on the seat. We would, we would take turns every week. I'd be like, you going down or am I going down? Yeah. You're going down or am I going down? <laughs> but yeah, it was, was like... We they would small. pin us against each other, but we never actually ended up having the fight because they would just jump us on the bus. And we yeah. were the two, we were like <laughs> 105 pounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? We were little. And Kyle, I got kicked out. What the fuck are you playing back what there? Is that? Hey, what is that, scary. Braveheart? Like, was that Congo? <laughs> wrong, wrong vibe. <laughs> wrong vibe. We're just catching up. Just a couple of friends catching up. Turn <laughs> okay, it off. That's, turn that's, up. that's... that's <laughs> It's okay. This will be edited. It'll be a lot cleaner. It's going to be clean That's like right. a fucking MTV production. Don't worry. I'll never oh, embarrass you clean. with our shitty production. Um, Kyle, you had a story you wanted to bring up, right? You used to get beat by your father. He left you or something? Oh, no. no. Okay. Wow. <laughs> uh, the only way I know of Jersey Shore, it's like linked to like some trauma that I have. He used to beat up his girlfriend and Jersey Shore would be on in the background. Kyle grew up in a, tra oh my God. Grew up in a trailer park outside God, of LA. The only way I know Jersey Shore is because yeah. when he'd beat up his girlfriend. So Kyle grew up on. in a trailer park outside of LA. He's doing very well now. He's got, he's got a great family. As I've met his mom and his little sister, they're very sweet. It was just her birthday. Happy birthday, Maya. But yeah, so Kyle has 
uh, his first experience with the Jersey Shore was it was playing in the background while his father was assaulting his. <laughs> this family. is sick. I mean, <laughs> it's true. But, hey, that's bro, pretty traumatizing. Everybody, it's everybody's like, put yeah, onto something. It's pretty traumatizing. Yeah, you know, in a certain way, and you remember your first experience. Like I always ask people how they found out about my videos, and most of the time it's like, oh, when David fucking hit you with the crane. That's. Oh, like, I heard about this. Did you? Yeah. It there really, you go. It really, it really it inspired me a lot. Did you watch the series? Is that what you wanted me to say? Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I, I told you to say you watched the series and it inspired you. It was a six episode thing. He goes, he got into a fight in those six episodes? I said, no, he didn't get into a fight on six episodes. It was a six episode documentary. There were some think, fights involved, but we edited them out because yeah. of, you know, trying to you know go, go down a different lane now. You know? He goes, um, no, and Jeff, I thought he just bust his eye yeah, up in a fight. Yeah, I thought it was a fight because I, I saw it on Instagram. No, but I'm going to fight. I'm going to get in this celebrity <clears throat> boxing. I'm Are trying, you? I'm, I'm like messing around, training. Like, you know, I like working out and I like fighting, you know? So yeah, why not? so why not? Get paid for it, right? Yeah, okay. do it legally, you know? Yeah. Because if you do that on a Jersey Shore fuck now, they'll fuck you. Get fucking arrested. Yeah, did, you got arrested that night, I right? Get, no, not that night. The next time when I laid the kid out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so there was another fight that... Once, yeah, it was the two one, there in, in forty eight hours. The one shot. Two in a week. Do you ever oh, miss yeah. that? You ever just miss fucking Nah, you know, it's I was young, I was crazy. Mm -hmm. and it was it was and it was a different point in my life. Would I'm, you ever get in the in the fight game now? Celebrity I'm, fight game if you had a nice check? Yeah, I would. Yeah? Yeah, for sure. Bro, let's let's all fucking start a training would. camp. Yeah. Guido oh. fucking training camp. <laughs> we'll all come in there tanned up, fucking leaned out like Rocky. Fucking spike hair. Remember Rocky's body in Rocky Four? Which one? When he fought the Russian? Bro, he was in, in Drago. insane shape. Drago. Yeah, he was on whatever the fuck Paulie's on now. Because <laughs> Paulie is tremendous. I just went to see him in Vegas. He's fucking yeah, solid. Yeah, Paulie's jacked right now. He's like 240 fucking yeah. solid. He looks like he went backwards like 10 years. Yeah, he does. He, he's, he's, got, he's got the Benjamin Button disease. He's got Benjamin Button, for, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Maybe because I saw him in the club and he had like his lighting set up on him perfect. But yeah, Paulie, that's Paulie? That's, this is what Paulie looks like right now. <laughs> this is what Paulie looks like to DJ. Yeah. Like, what the fuck do you have to be in that good of shape to DJ for? So this is going to be us in yeah, a month. Let's do it. Who would you fight if you had to fight a celebrity? I don't know. That's a what good route question. Where would you go? Rapper, actor? Would you want to fight like Tom Cruise? Like Bieber was going after Tom Cruise for a little bit. Who, Bieber? Yeah. Really? really? Yeah, he was calling out Tom Cruise. He's oh, been training. Bieber's been training. He's been boxing for a while. He's just boxing Chelsea Pierce. And he's a performer, too. He'll get out there and he'll fucking... He'll fucking sing and punch her at the same Imagine time. Imagine Bieber beating the shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if Bieber called me out and I fought him and I lost. He'll fucking serenade you and then fucking cheap I'd shot you at the same time. I'd have to give back his chain. No, no, no. I'd have to give it back if Bieber fucking... <laughs> no. I mean, whatever. I'd probably still make a ton of money off of that fight. Get KO'd That's what by sells, right? Ronnie's been fighting forever, though. Yeah. Literally. Just, not, was just always not legally. In the fights. How many always. street fights do you think you got under your belt? I know people don't count except unless you're Bryce Hall. Don't Fuck. say 40. A yeah. lot. He called me all the time. I'm fucking going in there. Yeah, I'm going to fight this kid. I'm like, oh, I'm coming over there. <laughs> what do you think? I, probably at least 20. What do you think your record is? 20 and 0. Yeah, I've won every fight. He's won 20 every fight. Twenty and zero. Yeah, damn. I don't think did. Ronnie's ever lost neighborhood. He's never what? lost against anybody. I think I, mean, I fought I've, everyone in the neighborhood. I've yeah. lost. I've, I've everyone lost. hated me for some reason. I don't know <laughs> why. I think they knew I was going to become famous. Yeah, <laughs> they, were, they were hating on you yeah. before. Yeah. But you know what's funny? And that's like, why. What the fuck? I don't even have any fucking money or any <laughs> clout yet. Why the fuck are you guys hating on me? And it's not like Ronnie came for money. He definitely came a long way to get to where he is. People been hating on you forever. It's crazy. Even right? when shit was not going good for you. <laughs> yeah, when shit was like we were talking about the other day. He was like, "What am I going to talk about?" the podcast is like my fucking life <laughs> it's been so fucking <laughs> crazy fucking you know fuck. how many knockouts in there uh probably that one was the best one on the show that was the only knockout yeah. so the other ones are just tk just fight fucking just fight until somebody broke it up damn yeah. i remember i ran into ronnie one time in tosca's and his eye is all fucked up and i'm like what happened he's like ah, i fucking fought this guy in white plains and there's two of his friends and this guy's trying to claw my eye out oh that's right and i'm like yeah ronnie it what the fuck damn bro cop. yeah and his eye was blood inside you know when you get the blood inside the eyeball oh, on the white on the white and his eye was scraped like they were trying yeah. to dig it out he's like yeah, the guy was trying to dig my eyes. Like, what are you doing? He's like, I was smashing the other guy's head in, so I didn't want to let him go. And I'm he like, tried to pull your eye out? Yeah, I was on top of him, hitting him, and his head was hitting the floor. I got a guy I want to pull his eye out. he tried to, like, eye gouge me. I got a fucking, this guy right here. <laughs> I don't know if you could see, but. Uh, you know this guy? No. He's a fucking YouTuber. It, look, it looks like Tom from, from uh, MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> You don't watch any like YouTube or any, you don't follow the social media stuff, no. right? That's why it's great to have you on the show. Just a real New York fucking tough guy, one of my friends. You know, I don't have to clout chase to get people on. Well, I guess technically I am clout chasing, but 
you know, it is what it is. Look, look. What are you doing now um, besides doing the show? Because you told I heard yesterday because this just came out about yeah. yesterday. We were going to do this. You're an acting class. I'm, I'm an acting class, and I also have investments in a. I have a cultivation for medical and recreational marijuana in Orange County. Yeah, and then I'm about to open up a dispensary as well. Nice, yeah. Yeah. CBD too, and I have a CBD company called Hell Verge. Yeah, get in early. Yeah, you know, you came out here initially for the entertainment biz, and you got into the weed game. No, I actually came out here to grow weed. Oh, you did too. And you two, stayed in my apartment for the first few weeks. You was out here. Yeah, I was looking for an apartment, so I was staying with him. Where was I at this time? I don't think I you think were out you, here. Yet. You were around. I think this might have been. No, I don't think you, Jeff was around yet. He was around. Because so you were just taking your checks from MTV and just flipping them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Damn, that's some gangster yeah. shit. And then if you get caught with cash, contraband, fucking this is from MTV. Yeah, exactly. What are you talking Appearance about? Appearance money, you know? Yeah. Like the situation was getting all the fucking 20 Gs to show up at a club and then you never file taxes and then, you know, you get jammed up that way. It's so funny. You did all these things. The situation went to jail over taxes. <laughs> if you never went on the show, would you like done UFC or something because you said you watched a lot of UFC I, I would have probably done boxing I was yeah. actually try, I was actually a real estate agent really? when they found me yeah I was a real estate broker I was actually going to be a real estate broker bartender and a personal trainer all at the same time oh. buy this house or I'm going to knock your fucking teeth out your whole family's <laughs> dead Ronnie was always a hustler house. Ronnie was always hustling and working and and doing something. But what are the odds that, you know, this show <laughs> oh, that becomes this huge up. show, I have like a close relationship with one of the four men on the show. Yeah. And so do you. What the fuck? And it's funny, with the day he got off the show, you were getting off the hutch in front of Tremont Diana and I was standing outside and you pulled up and you had all your bags on the back seat. Oh, remember that? And you said, I just got back from filming this show in the Jersey Shore. And I said, what fucking show? I've been calling you for weeks. Where the fuck you been? He was trying to call me, but they took our cell phones, no television, no computer. Oh, yeah. So we had no access to out besides that stupid fucking duck phone. For the day yeah. of shooting? Or like <laughs> no, for the whole two months of shooting. Oh, yeah. They had no connection to the outside world. Yeah. So you guys had no idea how big the show was going to be. No. And it blew every MTV show out of the water. I think because at the time, there was that fucking trailer where Snooki got punched in the face. And that was like, you've never even <gasps> seen that on TV. Yeah, no. that Like was a some brutal crazy fucking shit. shot. That nut job just wow. punched fucking little Snooki. Yeah, he was. A and did they take that down? Because I don't think yeah, that's even. Yeah, they did. Now you now can't you, show shit like that. You can't show no shit like that. No. No. No, they don't. That was like a, a fucking crack in the fucking system. That was, shit went viral before there was even like things viral that went viral. Thing, yeah. That shot that just, you know, and then everybody had to tune in to see what that show was about. And then they see these people that are just so fucking outlandish. I don't get it because I grew up in it. I had yeah. Paulie's haircut. I look back at my prom photo. I'm like fucking embarrassed of it. Your driver's license photo. Yeah. It still has that Paulie D hair. You even have a blowout in the driver's license. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you still have that photo? You didn't change yeah. the New York ID? Well, I still have a New York and a California ID. I figured out it. I get both. So. Oh, yeah. That one's still my old ID. From 15? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, literally. that haircut changes you. It does. Look at us now. I got a goddamn mullet. Steven, do you know what we looked like when we were age? You know what me and Ronnie looked like? <laughs> Ronnie was deadlifting four plates. We were squatting, deadlifting <laughs> six packs. Yeah. And, it, and what were your thoughts on steroids back then when you were younger for a boost? I used them. <laughs> <laughs> After the accident, I was like, doing stem cells i was doing whatever i had fucking david's credit card i was just swiping it fucking oh stem cells 10 grand fucking shoot me up you know whatever the rock's on give it to me because i need to heal fast yo he's on some shit man yeah he's fucking he's in phenomenal yeah shit. stem cells are expensive who knows if they even work but i took them you know i did it over at next health fucking cryotherapy work? who knows it could have just shot water into me baby blood but yeah I'm, i do whatever i can i'm all about health now and you know What's the point of having all this money if you're dead? Do you want to see Dr. Raymond? Yeah, I do. I see Dr. Raymond. He's a brain doctor because I got brain damage when I smashed my head off of that crane. But I did not go go under. I did not get knocked out conscious. I went under after for surgery and through several surgeries over this past year. How do you year. smash yourself with the crane? The um, just fucking out there cloud chasing, you know? I guess basically that's what it boils down to. No, I wouldn't say that. Story. I was skydiving. I was going through skydiving school to get my skydiving license, so I felt like I was a goddamn superhero because I was terrified of heights. I went through this three days where I overcame my fears of jumping out of a plane by myself, able to pull my chute, land it, fucking doing flips through the air, doing crazy shit. I felt like a fucking superhero. So now we go to do this other stunt, and everybody's like, oh, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this. I was like, oh, fuck it. I'll fucking do this. It's nothing. How am I going to get hurt, you know, 10 feet in the air swinging from a rope over a lake? And it turns out the kid just went way too fast and fucking blasted my skull off the side. Jesus. 
Yeah, I know. I talk about it every episode. It's my fucking life. You tell me fucking get over it. Remember I can't. what I told you? I can't get over it. Remember what I told you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, you motherfuckers. I said, he goes, how long's the podcast? I said, we shoot for about two hours for about an hour and 15 minutes. He talks about his brain injury. <laughs> like, you may, maybe you might get 10 minutes in. What's going on with you? Have you fucking been in any uh, near-death accidents recently? Recently? No. I've been good, actually. I went, and, uh, I've been trying to lay low. Trying to fucking be normal yeah. these days. Yeah, man. How's life going? Life is good. Yeah? Life is really good. Newly engaged. Got my daughter full time. Oh, so, yeah? Yeah, I'm playing dad all, every day, all day. When did you get engaged? Uh, was it like a month and a half ago? Oh, congrats, bro. Yeah, thank you. Oh, did you get the video back? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. From, from he Jeff? He was good? Yeah. Yeah, he was good, bro. He did a really oh, good Oh, you have photos. a video of the yeah, engagement? I, I told her I was going to- Airdrop it to the boys. <clears throat> Uh, you want it? Did she say? She said, she said yes. Obviously, yeah. Right? I don't yeah, want to spoil did. the ending. I got a picnic. I did a picnic at, in a in a, on the beach, and I told her I wanted. Did to you? Do... Were there any knockouts? <laughs> <laughs> I had him videotape, and then I beat the shit out of him. After. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ho I'm expecting to see like the, the the proposal right now, and then this guy comes over. Bro, con control your girl, bro. No, Ronnie's uh, sober. He's getting his shit together, hundred percent. Put, put your hands up, bro. I would love to edit these two videos together. Just put all that fucking audio from him beating the shit out of the guy on the boardwalk behind this video. Um, okay, while we're looking for this video, let me just do this ad read quick. I'm going to send this to Jeff's MacBook or no, MacBook Jeff, Pro? Jeff's Mac Pro. It's time to read, guys. Everybody brace yourselves. Nobody make fun of me, all right? Do you want to see the damage? All right? Don't weaponize my, my accent. Did you get it? I'm very sensitive yeah. about it. I go through a very tough time reading comments saying Jeff can't read. But this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is online therapy. Life is full of stressors. It doesn't matter who you are or what life you have or how much money you got. Your life is probably stressful. You may not be feeling down or in out or depressed or like you're at a total loss, but if your stress is high, your temper is shorter than usual. You know what I'm talking about, Vince. You got a short temper. You're mad all day long. I don't get it. You're fucking filthy rich. You got a good life, good shape, good friends. You're right. still mad. But if you're starting to feel strained in any of your relationships, you could probably use a chance to unload, unload stress, and talk and get it out. Talk to someone who is completely unbiased about your life, someone who's not going to judge you or take sides on anything. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. Like that if you're shy, Stephen. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your, with your therapist within under 48 hours. Unload the stressors and get some unbiased feedback. You'd be pretty surprised at what you might gain from it. See if it's for you. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and listeners get 10% off of their first month at BetterHelp.com slash JeffFM. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash JeffFM. Change your brain, change your life. You were just reading that. I actually thought like, oh man, maybe I should, maybe I should sign up for that. Literally in my head, I was looking you at Stephen. You want to You standing right here. Come you, at me, yeah. bro. You should. You want to fucking hate on how I read, bro? Right no, here. it wasn't yeah. that. I, I said, if Vince had a therapist, his therapist would need a therapist. <laughs> 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 I was like, man, maybe, I, maybe I should go talk to somebody. You should try this. What do you got oh, to lose? Everyone has a therapist. Sleeping, a therapist. sleeping in the closet isn't really helping me. You know, <laughs> so, no, but it is true. You should be, you know, getting help talking to somebody. I have a therapist. You know. Oh, do you? Yeah, of course. You go in person? Yeah. Are you ever embarrassed about people seeing you walk in? Um, no, it's private. Nobody really sees they me. They come now. to your house? Yeah. No, I go to there. Oh, to the nice. Office. Yeah. Did uh, your friends from the neighborhood back home give you a hard time when they found out you were talking to therapists like in The Sopranos, like no, Tony? They, they probably will now that they found out. Now they know. <laughs> Did you ever go home like when you were recording? No, bro. They didn't get to go home. They had to no, stay. I never watched like a reality I don't we know lived, how that works. We lived in the house 24-7. For how long? Filmed Sometimes, 24-7. Like between six and eight weeks mostly. That's like fucking prison. It's insane that you, you don't, don't know anything. Like, did you have you cars? don't know like, anything. You able to, like, they gave us job? cars, yeah. yeah. They gave so us cars, though, job. Some people that watch don't know anything. Wait, yeah. so Ronnie, so your, your life was just monitored for two months straight. No phones, nothing. No phones, nothing. What? Just monitor day and night. Damn, all it sounds day. like a science experiment. We <laughs> were, we were a science experiment. <laughs> was that girl that you were with? Is that like your girlfriend? Is that 
That was on the show. My, my, I was with her years ago. So you went on the show with her? No, we didn't know each other. Oh, so this met is on the so show. disrespectful. Yeah, we all met on the show. I don't show. know. Who is don't, it? don't want to talk about this stuff. Oh, it's cool. I like oh, I'm someone sorry, that I has it. You can strike him if you want. <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. I'll, 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 I'll stop. Two people. No, no, it's cool. I just want to know. That'll be another viral clip. It's interesting. He's the only one in the only one in the world that never watched Jersey Shore. It's literally, yeah. He's the only one. At least Kyle's got a traumatizing experience to it. You know what we should do? We should take Kyle out, play an episode. Will beat the shit out of him, <laughs> so he has a new traumatizing experience. So he forgets about his father. It reverses my trauma. <laughs> you, you want to hear something funny? So Ronnie comes back from the show. Second season comes, he gets more famous. So we're going out, we're doing shit together, and he would come to my house get weed. And obviously, I was selling marijuana at the time. He would come in, and I remember there was this kid from Jersey who was in the apartment. And Ronnie comes walking in, and he goes, "Oh my god!" And he starts screaming. I said, "What are you doing?" And he goes, it's fucking Ronnie from the Jersey Shore. So immediately Ronnie goes, you got my money? To me. And he goes, this is all his? He goes, yeah, it's all mine. You got a problem with that? I remember that. And then he was like, oh my God, I buy weed from John Ronnie from the Jersey Shore. And we yeah. never told him that it wasn't true. And Even I was like, yeah, it's my partner. Fucking, uh, you guys at one point were getting like, I think like a million a season or something. Uh, something like that, yeah. And then more Sam was just big? fucking. A little more than that. Or, yeah, like it was like an insane amount. I mean, to be locked in this fucking house for and being filmed 24-7, it better be a lot of pay, you know? Close your mouth, Steven. Oh, yeah, I was I'd, I'm you get you get fucking two hundred bucks an episode because you go home after this. You get the fucking if I get the one hundred fifty, okay, whatever. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Steven. How about Steven? This is it. This is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take your cell phone away. You're gonna live downstairs in my apartment. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what to do. I will give you a thousand dollars a day. Uh, okay. That you oh, actually yeah. might have a look good at show him. There. Look, oh, he's down. Look, yeah. He's down. We're gonna yeah. film it and everything. Do you remember with Kyle in, in, in Texas? I said, yo, Kyle, I'll give you $1,000 to ride it to the river. He goes, get the hell out of here. I thought he was going to say no. He goes, say swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> he threw his phone on the floor, rode up the scooter right off the fucking bridge into the river. I said, holy shit, this kid is nuts. Yeah, I found these guys at the fucking bottom of the barrel, you know? I don't want people coming in here with egos. You yeah, know? We, don't, we don't know what the yeah. fuck we're doing. I'd be surprised if this thing's even recording right now. It's like when I met Ronnie in school. <laughs> Ronnie was this little chubby poor Puerto Rican kid didn't even speak English. Just he didn't even spoke speak straight English. Puerto Rican. He he migrated Are from Puerto, Puerto Rican? Rico. Yeah, Puerto Rican. You're not Italian. Italian? Yeah, I'm both. Oh, you half yeah. and half. Yeah, half and half. Okay. Yeah. But he yeah. grew up in Puerto Rico. No, I didn't. He did. He migrated here with the kid Ilya and Gonzalez. I came on in. The I, I came in on a oh, on an avocado <laughs> boat. <laughs> <laughs> I came in on a, and they smuggled me in a Goya box. <laughs> well, you know, you were born in the Bronx, right? Yeah, born in the Bronx. Okay. He was born and raised in the Bronx. Yeah. yeah. I used to play tennis in the Bronx. When I was like 10. Tennis in the Bronx. Yeah. The Trogs like tennis courts, right? Really? Harding Avenue. Yeah. Oh. But I had a, I played doubles and my fucking <laughs> partner sucked. Yeah, I got stuck with a shitty partner and they fucking pulled me down. But shit happens. That's fucking competitive sports for you. You see Simone Biles, she the, the star of the Olympic gymnastics. No. No. She's like a fucking freak athlete. She's the gold medalist every year. She wins everything. Is that the one that got caught smoking weed? No, no. that's that's Shikari Richardson. She was the fastest woman alive. She was going to win the 100 meter sprint, which is like the best event of the Olympics. You yeah. Know? Like you want to watch those. It's the most exciting, like 10 seconds, the race. You know, everything builds up. You train your whole life for that 10 seconds. I mean, so I get nervous for those people. You know, I watch it with anxiety, but she got suspended for smoking weed which is bullshit, and, you know, I want to fucking boycott the Olympics, but it just pops up on my YouTube, and I keep watching it. And Simone, she was, too, it was too much pressure for her, I think. She just backed out. She just wanted to smoke some weed. Well, no, that's a different girl. No, uh. she she was, they were, she won all the gold medals last year, and everybody just expected her to come in with 10 gold medals again, and then she fucked up, like, one, you know how you have to do all those flips and then, yeah, like, stick yeah, the landing? Yeah. She, like, fucked up one landing. And then she was like, eh, there's too much fucking pressure. I could be getting this story wrong and I'm going to be canceled for this. They set her score lower because she was doing stunts that were way harder to do. So the Olympics decided to score her lower because they don't want other people trying it and getting hurt. So she tried to set the bar and she that's got fucking, trouble for that. So they were, yeah, that's that sounds illegal. There's a lot of sketchy shit going on with the Olympics over there in Tokyo. I saw a video of this track star or this high jumper. She was fucking beautiful. This is my perfect type. I'm probably gonna so lose half boy, of my audi real, audience. Real. I can't talk. I'm gonna lose half my audience for this. But Ron, what type of? Oh, you're you're in a relationship now, right? Yes, sir. Oh wait, we have his uh, proposal. Oh, my proposal video. Uh, I'm so I'm so nervous because this kid Jeff gonna fuck this video up, and I'm Bro, so mad. Bro, he did such a good job. <laughs> oh yeah, I sent the video could, guy we, over we there. Could... <clears throat> it's the music for me.
Damn, just put the audio in the background. Come at me, bro. You fucking <laughs> control your girl. Control, control your girl, bro. Oh, Damn, shit. Ron, you look great, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Come at me, bro. As I grab her. That's a great haircut. That's a yeah, great that haircut. haircut's way better than the ones I was giving you back then. You think so? I didn't like it. You didn't like that no, cut? No, I think Why? I thought he butchered my hair. So no were, did you like the cuts I was giving you in you Miami did. even though I gave yeah. you the wrong cut? Yeah. Unbelievable. Was fresh I, in you were such a nice guy. You never even said like fucking, hey, bro, stop focusing so much on fucking cameras. So you were cutting his, sorry. Yeah, no, I, I cut you their hair. You were cutting his hair on the shit, Jersey, in yeah, Jersey. Yeah, I, I, I cut all their hair. No, in Miami. So, so it was filmed in Miami, oh. not Jersey. No, it started, it's, Stephen. Oh. Fuck, I could, I could strike <clears> you right now. I could strike you for not doing your research. He looked up Florida Bama Shore. No, he didn't. And he was like preparing questions for Florida Bama Shore. That show was so minuscule compared to this fucking powerhouse fucking Jersey Shore was. Yeah, play that again. Yeah, no, you we can't were. Be that you fuck. can't be that fucking stupid. I'll watch it. I'll, is it on like Netflix or something? Or it's is on it? Amazon. Do, do Amazon. you know how I made Amazon. Kyle have to get therapy? Who the fuck do you think mm -hmm. you're talking to? <laughs> I'm going to make you have to get therapy. And maybe after that, you might straighten your shit out. This is who I want to propose to. Look at how. She, look at how. She fucking, looks like the chick from Wolf of Wall Street. Look at this fucking joke. Yeah, like Margot Robbie. Look at this fucking jump. Look how graceful. And how happy she is. Look, she's just, you know, she's not smoking weed at she? night. She's not going to fucking nightclubs looking to meet Leonardo DiCaprio. She looks like she doesn't I mean, eat either. She'd probably love to <laughs> fucking meet. Yeah. How, how old is she? I'll get her she's a couple of steaks. Skinny. You like blonde hair girls? Did you look her up? No, I haven't looked her up. But if anybody knows her. No, um, she's married as fuck. Cut this whole bit. Oh, there it is. Yeah. 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 There it is. Oh. We could beat the shit out of him if we want. <laughs> He's shorter than her, huh? She looks like she's slumped over. <laughs> I mean, maybe she's like 6'4", like perfect like me. You can you know? Google it. I'm 6'5". She's 6'4". What? She looks like Corinna. Up, she oh, looks like gone. a taller, athletic Corinna, huh? But yeah. no, I'm not into Corinna. I'm much better shape. She jumps way higher than Corinna. She's 5'11". Fucking... Oh, she's 5'11"? Yeah. Perfect. Ooh, that's a nice and my she's, type. She's 23. I would have liked if she was like 37, but, you know, 23 works. How old are you, Steven? How old do you all think I am? 24. What? Really? <laughs> He looks, you look like shit. That's why. I'm 20. God damn it. 20? So I can't even curse in front of you. <laughs> Say whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Steven curses. Steven, run off some curses. Fuck, bitch. C word. Pussy. No, no, no. I don't say C word. C word. Oh, this is when Mike smashed his head off the wall? No, that was Italy. Damn, you guys got in Italy all too? Yeah, we filmed oh, in Italy. This is the oh, wow. That's you? Yeah. This is acting, though, right? I hype shit up. You exaggerate a little bit for the camera. Yeah, you gotta do it for the camera. It's kind of like what I do when I come on here. Yeah. Don't touch my bitch. Don't ever touch my Do you miss her? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> right at that moment. <laughs> Yo, but this was like a big part of the show, right? This is like the 9-11 of Jersey Shore. Well, they were the, the main couple, like fooling around inside the inside the friend group is like it's like Todd and Natalie right now in the vlog squad, you know? Oh, okay. Everybody wants to know when they're gonna break up, when Todd's gonna cheat and slip whole, up and get drunk at Saddle Ranch. The whole conversation Everybody's waiting is, for that, is right? It's just beeps. Yeah, you can get ten curses right there. Yeah. Wait, so each room has cameras in it at all times. Yeah, so, bro, Steven. I didn't have like sex and stuff. They have sex on camera. Yeah. What? Yeah. Going what about the like Stephen? They're guys that twenty four seven. All right, look. This is how I'm going to be honest. You can relate, Ron. I'm sure after the first day, you're numb to the cameras, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you're not. They don't even know they exist. You know how you get all nervous when you turn on your camera to film? Like you come in here to start the show, you, it takes a little while to get the, <laughs> the cobwebs out. Sure. They don't even fucking know the difference. The cameras are on there 24 seven. He's a fucking professional. When, when I would go to the clubs with you guys, oh, yeah. and we would go into the bathroom, and say they somebody, come, they were coming to they the would go into the stalls to make sure that yeah. I mean I'm yeah, not going to say they, they, they did really, nowhere, yeah huh? they did a really good job <laughs> so you <laughs> had, sure someone was not doing cocaine but you, you had know. nowhere to go so it's complete privacy no not w anywhere even nowhere. when you're in a car driving they're yeah, always following cameras you. in the car yeah <laughs> cameras so you out. have to bring cameramen with you if you want to go to like a gas station real quick like they yeah. need to have everything. You yeah. have to ask them. Yeah. Like, hey, you yeah, have to call I, them. You're going. Wait, so yeah. They're following you. The producers yeah. of Jersey Shore have seen you butt naked. Yeah, they probably see my cock. Uh, you want to see his dick? <laughs> no, 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 please. I didn't bring my microscope. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> Fuck them, bro. He knows. He must be a fan of the show. Did you watch episode? You did your research yeah, on us. Yeah, I did my research. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he shows his dick a lot. It's a part of the show. But, he, I mean, we only filmed hey, for like an up. hour. Yeah. Have you ever had sex? 
Oh Has Nerf had sex? No, he got neutered. He got snipped. You never let him have sex. You can't have you sex if your balls get life. cut off. You, well, you, I think you that's can still have sex. Three issue, or points no, in life is or food and sex. No, that's no. a vac- vasectomy? Yeah, but that's, that's a, a blatant what castration that they do to dogs. Smoking? Isn't life all about reproduction and food and family? We might so as well talk about euthanasia and all the other okay. hard hitting topics, Stephen. Let's talk about religion and politics. That? What do you think about euthanasia? If you have a, a dog that's not spayed or neutered, they could just get random about. things pregnant, and then other fight? people. There's mixed dogs, and uh, you know you got fucking a cat and a dog together, and then you got that show, the, the cartoon yeah, cat dog. dog. You know, you got things He's like that popping that. out. We just give the female dog its Steven, and then female dogs, dogs have periods, dogs. and then they're they're bleeding they all, uh, bleed they bleed all over your couch. And you everything. think they make like Plan Bs for dogs, girl dogs? Jesus, I don't know. That's a good question, actually. <laughs> I don't, I don't <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think? No, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That's probably the I most think the smartest thing I've, I've heard you say. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, I think about it. Like, sort of business. Say your dog gets knocked up by a neighbor's scumbag dog that like isn't really doing the right thing, and you want to like yeah, you don't have like, to figure it out. You can't like yeah, has, like yeah, a yeah. Out chain. Yeah, drug dealer, drug people. dealer's dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and you just can't uh, you know maybe afford to keep the babies, or you just don't have the room for them. Plan Some B. dogs get pregnant and they die in, Plan in D. birth because like Frenchies Plan are a good D. example because they're test tube babies. They have to artificially inseminate because the way their bodies are shaped. They're all beefy with short little arms. They can't really get in the sexual position. I don't, I don't want to talk so they have to artificially just, bro, inseminate. So Nerf, Nerf wouldn't be here if it wasn't for fucking science. Nerf's a science project. <laughs> you, where you're at in your life right now, how old are you? 35. Now you're engaged. You have your three, daughter. Three-year-old kid, yeah. Full custody. That's yeah. the right custody thing. My daughter, yeah. Yeah, full custody. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yes, you, <sir>. Steven. <laughs> what? Uh, full custody of you soon. Yeah, so so how is that family life? It's good, bro. I'm actually, you know, I'm calm these days, doing the right thing, focus yeah. out on my mental health and yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> Hell <know>? yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm getting there. I'm getting up there. I'm single. I feel, like I feel lost in life. So, you know, be grateful <laughs> that you have a family. So I'll let your boy this is for funny. real, for real. Yeah. All I got is a dog that's 15. He's fucking any day now. He's and, gone. And, and I'm left alone. He's like, what am I, he's fucking a, orphan? He's getting old. He's 30. Huh? What he am needs- I, orphan? Yeah, but you got you got your girlfriend over there. You got your own dog who's fucking beautiful. Um, Little family. Dalmatian. What the hell is he? A husky. A husky. Yeah. Like and Kyle. You got a nice family there. Yeah. Wait, wait, I don't wait. know what I'm going to do. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I got to find the right one. You know, and it takes time. Took you got to go through a lot of wrong ones to find the right one. Took you a couple shots at it, yeah. and, it and it was all public. Yeah. <laughs> the whole world knew, yeah. and they paid to see it. Everyone, yeah. It was goddamn entertaining to watch you find <laughs> your, your one. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's tough. I don't know if people get married anymore, and like uh, they have things like last, because it's just weird. The internet. And yeah, like, it's too much temptation out there. For phones, people. iPhones. Tinder, Grindr. Yeah. <laughs> it's so weird that weed is illegal in so many other places like Dubai. You'll get fucking life in jail oh, for smoking a joint. Yeah. That's nuts. Thailand too, I think. Kyle, you would be fucking death penalty if they just saw you. If you just showed up, <laughs> if you could see Kyle's face, he's What's permanently What's the bottles stoned. of water next to you? Is that a bottle of piss? No, I'm just really <laughs> hydrated. He's got to pee in there. How do you think they go to the bathroom? Yeah, that's too. It's all uh, wired there's up. No, there's no piss in the bottles, but I just stay hydrated. Just, I got a catheter too hooked up to my penis right now. I'm peeing really? in a bucket. Yeah, I pee in buckets back here so I don't have to take breaks. Sometimes we keep this show going for two, three hours. I should prepare for these shows, huh? I'm going to have a big fucking celeb guest on here that never does interviews, and I fucking prepare nothing. I have this moron do the research. <laughs> yeah, that. And he does Florida Bound, for sure. Nothing. You know, no, it was epic fail. Look, we fucked around a lot, but this whole thing came about, you know, yesterday when Vince said you guys met up and you talked. I remember when we first came out here, when you first came out here, we went to One Oak. He's standing on top of the table. I turn around. He fell off the back of the table. I think you have a story about me. The same same exact story. (laughs) In New York? He fell off the back yeah. table. But you try to fight oh, the people you fell that. on. They put little York. traps on those couches. Everybody's oh supposed God. to stand on the couch when you get the bottles. <laughs> and there's no yeah. fucking back in One Oak. But there's a the point was, Jeff tried to take his shirt off to stand next to the picture of the guy with his shirt off on the wall. And then when he went to put his shirt back on, he fell. But he had his shirt halfway <laughs> on his head and fell off the table. And then he tried to fight the guys he fell on. Ronnie just <laughs> fell on the Look, other I'm people not, and they helped him out. I'm not perfect, all right? I'm not perfect. I'm still working on myself. I was a little embarrassed on how I fell down. And I was a little intolerant. <laughs> intoxicated and i wanted to put the blame on somebody else and these nice people caught me and then i still fucking said and i said fucking how dare you catch me yeah he went like this and then the guy <laughs> dropped him <laughs> how dare you save my life and i said you piece fucking, of shit i had to dive into the table to stop him now i don't fucking drink and you know i haven't fell on anybody in a club in a long time no. you know now i catch people you know and they want to fight me and i understand i'm like bro i've been there i did that i was you 
I don't, I don't need to do this, you know? I got so it. And then we oh. fucking yeah. crack them anyway, you know? <laughs> so, you know, we met up the other day. We were just talking about, obviously, Stephen, you don't know nothing about anything, but we both came a long way in our lives. You know, we both came from fucking pretty much nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Realistically, born and raised in the Bronx. And there was things that I didn't even remember that you had went through with yeah, the car bro. and stuff. You yeah. Know, yeah if you want to say it. Well, I used to sleep in my car. Yeah. For like six months, yeah. He was living in his car, car, and this was right right before before Jersey Shore. Yeah, yeah, probably like like nineteen. Yeah, sleeping in my car. So this is when you were a real estate agent and yeah, real. I was a real estate agent. We were in Westchester Community College. Went to Westchester Community College, and I was a real estate agent. And yeah, I didn't have a place to go, so I was like, "Fuck." Where it. would you shower and stuff? I would just shower in the bathroom at work. Oh like, yeah, at the sink. Yeah. What was the <laughs> the final switch that was like, fuck this, I'm getting sober? I just kept making stupid fucking decisions. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Everything I do was irrational. It was impulsive. You yeah. Know? And it just wasn't really the, the right direction that I was going in. You know, I have a daughter and I got to lead by example. Were you just drinking a lot? Drinking, cocaine. Yeah. You know, Oof. it was a lot of... Those, you know, damn, that, that bro. combo. That yeah. combo. You know, yeah. it, it, was, it, was, it was really, you know, addiction runs in my family. Yeah, so same, all, all, all three of us. Yeah, yeah, so you know, it was something that I fought for a really long time. And then I, on top of that, I suffer from bipolar and depression. So oh, and that's, I wasn't, a, that's some fucking cocktail. I wasn't taking my medication. I was self-medicating with alcohol and drugs, Yeah, you know, thinking that that was going to work, and it didn't work. I ended up mm-hmm. back in treatment about three months ago. Best yeah. decision I ever made was to go back, for sure. Yeah. Best thing I ever did was to go back and get help. Now you look healthy. You can see it in your Thank face. You. Thank you. You're just all around fucking 180. Yeah, bro. You gotta, you know, like Vin said it the other day. He's like, I gotta, I gotta horseshoe up my ass. Yeah. You know, for some reason I keep landing on my what feet. What the fuck does that mean? You gotta horseshoe up your ass. It means that you, you're lucky. You know what I mean? Horseshoe is lucky. You gotta horseshoe yeah. up your ass. My father would I get say. myself into a lot of shitty situations and somehow. I guess I, we I all got horseshoes up our asses. Yeah. Because look at me. Vince, what you was know, that I was one on thing drugs and alcohol at the time. What'd you say? What's that one quote you taught me? The olive branch one? I was trying to say it to my friend the other day, but I butchered it. Then maybe you should extend the olive branch. That sometimes. one. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that I one is. I don't know what the fuck that has to do with anything yeah. that has to do with what because we're Because you said about. the horseshoe one. Like, you just have all these random quotes. <laughs> because I'm intellectual and I've been through a lot in life. <laughs> and that's read? why you're my son and I will take care of you. <laughs> we got a horseshoes up our asses. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. I think we can wrap it up. Ron, is there anything you want to promote? Are you, are you going to start a podcast of your own? I might start a podcast of my own, yeah. Yeah? Do you yeah, have a definitely. YouTube channel? Any social media? Any stuff you're doing, working uh, on? Just social media. I don't have YouTube. I got to get on Any that. fucking supplements you're building? You got a no, fucking got protein a powder? CBD brand called Verge. Okay, CBD. It's out there, yeah. We'll link it. We'll link it down in the description. Send us the links. Yeah, so We'll also links. send you a cut of this so you can yeah. fucking tell us if you want us to cut out all, all those knockouts you did. You know? <laughs> cut out everything. <laughs> Vince, you got anything you want to promote? Our uh, weed company? Well, now, you're my well, partner and fucking. Now we're coming. We're gonna. Balance, we're both so. gonna promote competing fucking weed companies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but he's back has, to back. He has a CBD company a CBD. that we're actually meeting on Thursday to help him. Which you should probably come for the I'll meeting. Probably do a collab. I'll probably do a THC yeah. brand as well too. Yeah. I'm thinking about leaning towards something like the juice or something like that. The juice. Yeah. The juice is loose. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. You know, but healthy Jeff's my, weed. Jeff's actually my partner on balance. Yeah. Him and Roy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all about a balanced lifestyle. Have a little fun, smoke a little weed at night, clear your head, turn it off, turn it off your brain, and then wake up and work out like an animal. Yeah. You know, get those endorphins going again. healthy. Yeah. yeah and then meanwhile, like, I'm in the apartment next door telling them not to smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vince. Should I smoke weed? Yeah. You can't even have a weed company and tell people not to smoke weed. Well, I mean, it's different with him because once it's the weed, it's the fucking, it's mm-hmm. all the other stuff, and then it's him dabbling with sexual experiences with other people and all the other crazy shit that comes with it. You know what I mean? So I'm just trying to keep him like centered. Would you like to go to whorehouses? No, no, no. I was just a whore. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I was just a whore. Steven, you ever have sex with a prostitute? Mm -mm. Do you ever want to? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. You need to start a podcast. Keep this inspirational journey going. People, There is people that want to listen to it. Except those fucking haters in my comments. They're like, oh, you talk about your ride too much. I can't fucking. Well, you know what? They're still watching, them. though. They're still, the for thing. now. They're still watching. <laughs> they're, still, they're, still, they're still fucking yeah. watching, you know? I'm going to talk about doing fucking drugs and partying in Miami again soon. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I was just flying to tell them keep watching. Um, I'll figure out my purpose in life.
Takes time. Took me 35 years. <laughs> That's it. That's the fucking end credits. They're like, all right, you're out of you're repeating shit that you said in the last 13 episodes. But thank you for coming on the show, Ron. Thank you, bro. Of course, thank My you first Robin. fucking celeb, real one on the show. Steven, you're fucking dead. Fucking clap, Steven. <laughs> fucking dead. Steven. Be respectful. He'll strike you. You saw we played the fucking thing. No. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. you. All right, thanks, guys. Okay.